Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glow, fire, condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Edwin Jose Perla. Perla was shot and killed on Saturday, January 29th, 2011 in the 11,100 block of South New Hampshire Avenue in the Westmont neighborhood of South LA, according to LA County Coroner Records. Dejan Patton was subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. On January 29, 2011, between 6.15 and 6.27 p.m., Jay Garcia was walking south on New Hampshire Avenue toward 112th Street. The area was claimed by a Hispanic gang. Mr. Garcia saw a friend, victim Edwin Perla. The victim was walking towards Mr. Garcia on the opposite side of the street. The victim was a member of the Hispanic gang. The victim spoke to Mr. Garcia and said he was going to the Weed House, a residence on the block where marijuana was sold. Shortly thereafter, Mr. Garcia encountered the defendant and an unidentified African-American companion. Mr. Garcia recognized the defendant. Mr. Garcia regularly saw the defendant in the neighborhood. Mr. Garcia knew defendant was a gang member. Defendant was wearing glasses. Mr. Garcia has seen defendant wearing glasses in the past. Defendant issued a gang challenge to Mr. Garcia. Defendant asked, where are you from? Mr. Garcia said, I don't bang, I ain't from nowhere. Mr. Garcia was asked if he knew where the weed house was located. Mr. Garcia pointed defendant in the direction of the residence where the marijuana was available. Mr. Garcia continued walking south toward 112th Street. But then Mr. Garcia realized that the victim and defendant were rival gang members. Mr. Garcia became concerned for the victim's safety. Mr. Garcia turned and ran back toward the house where the marijuana was sold. Defendant and the unidentified African-American man confronted the victim, a rival gang member, near the house. Mr. Garcia witnessed the encounter. Defendant asked the victim, where are you from? The victim began to answer. Defendant shot the victim in the head who then fell to the ground. Defendant shot the victim three more times. Mr. Garcia saw defendant and the unidentified African-American man run north toward an alley. The victim died as a result of multiple 44 caliber gunshot wounds. On February 22, 2011, Mr. Garcia told Detective Q. Rodriguez it was defendant who shot the victim. Mr. Garcia used defendant's gang moniker in making the identification. On February 28, 2011, Mr. Garcia viewed a photographic lineup Mr. Garcia identified the defendant as the gunman. Mr. Garcia was certain of his identification. On March 7, 2011, defendant and co-defendant Burke Robinson went into a neighborhood claimed by a rival African-American gang. Co-defendant Robinson shot and attempted to kill two individuals perceived to be rival gang members, Mr. Abner and Mr. Ross. Detective Raul Magadan and Deputy John Herman were in an unmarked sheriff's car in the area. They heard approximately seven gunshots. A police radio broadcast issued concerning the shooting stated two African-American males had been seen running from the scene. While driving west on 111th Street, Detective Magadan saw defendants running north on Raymond Avenue toward 111th Street. They were running away from the area where the shooting occurred. They were only a few blocks from the location of the shooting. Detective Magadan and Deputy Herman detained defendants and searched them. No weapon was found. However, both defendants tested positive for gunshot residue. Mr. Ross identified defendants during a field show up several blocks away from the shooting scene. Mr. Ross was 100% certain that co-defendant Robinson was the assailant. Mr. Ross identified defendant as the other one. Following the trial, the jury convicted defendant Dejan Patton of first degree murder. The same jury also convicted defendant and co-defendant Burke Robinson of two counts of attempted premeditated murder. The jury also found true the gun and gang allegations. Defendant Patton was sentenced to 50 years to life in state prison. The court found that co-defendant Robinson had a prior conviction. Robinson was sentenced to two consecutive life terms plus a consecutive term of 25 years to life. Edwin Jose Perla was 19 years old at the time of death. 